Welcome back to a new episode here in Swathi. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a split screen or animated split screen in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so it's actually not that complicated to do this. You just have to have sort of like an idea of what kind of effect you wanna obtain here. Like I just animated these. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna add a new fusion composition and you can make it as long as you want. I already have one, so we're gonna open that and we're gonna create a background node. And on this background note, you can either leave it transparent or add, or add a color to it. You can be as creative as you want to be. In this case, we're going to add sort of this purplish, dark purple color. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a merge node for every media in or like split screen that we want to have on our actual like scene. So we're going to do that and we're going to actually create the masks first and connect them to the merge nodes. So we're going to create a mar um we're going to create a mask that is sort of like a rectangle and we're going to try to put it here and then we're going to try to see if we can fit three of these right next to each other. Select everything so we can see that they're in the correct place. Move this a little bit and adjust it like that okay so we got the basics there of what our masks are going to look like now we can bring our media in and if we connect our media in you will see that they only showing up where the mask that emerge node is but our footage is still not showing in the correct place so what do we do now we're gonna press ctrl m to bring our selection tools bar or window and we're gonna add a transform node to each of these you can just copy and paste these and then for each of them we can adjust the positioning that we want the clip that we have here to have and then the main thing that you want to do is probably then just like animate how are they gonna come into our screen are they just gonna pop up are they just gonna like slide in so what we want to do is we're going to slide them in right so we're going to animate the position for each of these okay so then for this and rectangle this is going to be the last keyframe then for this one we're going to create this keyframe right here and then for the third one we're going to create the next one at 30 and then we're going to go back and at 20 this one is going to come from the bottom this one is going to start coming at 10 so it's going to come from the top and then this other one is gonna come from the bottom also or you can animate from the side or whatever you want then if you want to make it a little bit smoother you can also go to the spline tool and select everything Control a and press f and that will make the entrance a little bit smoother you can also add uh, motion blurs if you want or that is up to you yes yeah, so let's just go back and check how this looks And that, guys, is how you would go about making a split screen. Really easy effect to do. It just takes time because you have to like think about what exact shapes you want to add and what kind of things you want to show. And it also depends a lot on the mood of the actual video that you want to make. You cannot, you could put a split screen type of effect on pretty much any kind of video, but it has to make sense. You could do this in real estate videos, concerts, pretty much anything. It's a really, um, really flexible effect but you just gotta be careful to not overdo it just like everything else so i hope this video was helpful and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you have any requests or any ideas for videos let me know down below and without further ado i just want to say thanks for watching once again and i hope to see you in the next episode here in suavi bye